What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video guys and in today's video we are back with another item shop review in Halo Infinite. It's a new week. We have some new items. We actually have a lot of cool stuff this week. So let's get into it. So in this video we're going to be reviewing the Stormfall armor set and then in a future video I'll review most likely the pop weapon set. Um, but let's take a look at what we have this week. Um, so first off we have the Stormfall armor set which comes with the Limed Ash armor coating and i won't lie i'm not a huge fan of this armor coating i mean it's just so i mean plain kind of kind of shitty not gonna lie there's a little bit of blue on the arms and yeah it's just i don't know i don't really like it uh then there's also the epic helmet called the stormfall now this is a very interesting looking helmet i have never seen this helmet ever so I'm pretty sure there's like a new helmet in the Halo universe. I haven't seen this before, like in Halo 5 or anything. I don't, I don't, I've never seen it. Um, and yeah, here it is. It looks like he has goggles on. Yeah, it just looks like goggles on on a Spartan. Uh, then we have the Gunganeer uh, helmet attachment, which I've been waiting for this for so long, and it's finally here, and I love it. I mean, I'm kind of interested on how the Spartan actually sees through this thing. Maybe it's through that like orange hole um but otherwise i think it looks really really cool i like it and then we have epic gloves called the hemicon and um i probably pronounced that wrong but here it is and i mean gloves are gloves i don't think this should be even a thing that they continue with uh like they shouldn't keep selling gloves i mean come on this is just i feel like this is just filler content i don't know they look the same to me all the, all the glove attachments look the same to me. Um, then we have an epic chest plate called the Malachit plate. And this actually looks pretty nice. I really do like it. Looks really, really cool. I like this one. And then we have shoulder pads. Uh, once again, I'm not a huge fan of them. I wish they were bigger. Um, but these ones aren't that bad. I think these are on the uh, better side of uh, shoulder pads. Yeah, so they're not too bad we have knee pads uh i don't know typical knee pads they don't really look any different from previous ones that we had like not gonna lie um i don't really see much of a difference uh, maybe the shape but you know so they they all look the same to me and then we have a stance called the patrol formation this one looks really really cool i really do like it um but yeah guys basically this whole set is just for the helmet the attachment and i would say the chest piece um uh, yeah because everything else is just kind of like yeah the lime dash is just i don't really like it but yeah anyways let's go pick it up let's go purchase that bundle and there we go nice okay so now let's take a look at the midnight wrath bundle this one is actually pretty cool it's really plain though it's just black white and red and there's barely any red. I wish there was more red. Let's be real here. I mean, you can't see nothing, honestly. Um, but I really like the color. And also, the template, or the nameplate, is really, really cool. It's like a skull. Um, I think this is definitely really, really nice. Um, you just get the typical. For 500 I just wish it was maybe less. Like, 300 300 I would actually buy this. But for 500 I think it's a little bit too much. I mean, the color's nice, but really like six dollars for just the color black with like a little bit of white and red i mean there's barely any red if there was more red that'd be pretty cool not gonna lie but i just can't see myself buying this and then we have the intrusion pack i believe this has been back before so this isn't anything too crazy um i don't know i don't really like this honestly out of these two i'd rather buy the midnight wrath like not gonna lie um but yeah i mean if you want shoulder pads these ones aren't that bad i think these are actually pretty nice and the coating isn't too crazy here it is i'm not too crazy about it and uh, we also have a helmet attachment called the face lift which is also i don't know nothing too crazy in my opinion um i that shit honestly could just be free i don't think these types of minor details on the helmet should even cost money like seriously i think this would be a lot cooler if it was just free I mean, that's what i'm gonna say maybe you grind for it i don't know i just don't think i want to pay money for a helmet attachment 
Um, but yeah, guys, anyways, let's go review the Stormfall armor set and see what it looks like in-game. Alright, so this is what the Stormfall basically looks like. And honestly, you know, kind of thinking about the helmet more, I don't like this helmet with, like, the goggles. It looks funny. Um, I don't know. Uh, but let's take a look at some uh, visors that would uh, go well with this coating, the armor coating. And we have the enlisted. This is not bad. Uh, nope. Goblin uh, might be a little bit too bright, but it can work. No. Blackpool. No, I don't think so. No. Nah. -uh. Honestly, this one looks kind of cool. Maybe if you do like a different coating, the way it's glowing, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the gray skull, not bad. Uh huh. And yeah, basically, not many go with this exact. Uh, with this exact coating um so i'm probably just gonna stick with let's go with the goblin one yeah i rarely ever use that one um but yeah so this is the helmet a little bit up close as you can see it let's take a look at the attachment now the attachment is probably what i'm going to be running you can also put on like other attachments um oh you can also do the cat ears i didn't think they would be able to do that but yeah looks uh looks interesting uh, okay, so let's put on the attachments and yeah, this is how I'm probably gonna be running the Spartan Not gonna lie. Let's take a look at some other coatings for the armor. So this one is just so boring Like I do not like this coating. I think it's pretty shit Honestly, I'd rather have no coating and they just drop the price instead of us getting like Okay, another green coating just a little bit lighter, you know um, But yeah, so let's take a look at some They all will look good. Oh, this one looks nice the, the default? Yeah, that looks pretty good. It actually matches. Let's keep on going. This one's not bad. Yeah, that one's nice. Um, Stone green. Eh. I don't I don't really like how the helmet is like white. I don't know. Uh, Tempest Lilac. Not bad. I mean, honestly, you can put on any coating that you want. It will work. Um, it's just that you know, it really depends if you like the colors or not. Um, I think this one's pretty nice. That one's pretty nice. And this one's not bad. I like that. Ghost Grey. Not bad. Uh, not really, honestly. Midnight Griffin. Not bad. Neon Superfly. Uh, I wouldn't actually wear it. I don't. I wouldn't wear it together, to be honest. Uh, Obelisk Stone. Red Shift. Scorpion. Shadow Sorrel. Tahuna Sands. Wet Crow. This is like the one of the latest ones that we got. Yeah. It's not bad. I actually like this one. Okay. Is that a Sky? Bleach Bone. That one looks pretty cool. The attachments and all that. Blood Shadow. Estate Gold. Platinum Anniversary. Vermilion Fire. Okay. Going to keep on going. Okay. I don't know, it just really depends on if you like the colors or not. Um, honestly, anything can go with these attachments. Um, but you also want it to kind of match with the uh, with the chess piece, because the chess piece doesn't change color. This one looks nice. Holy. This actually looks really cool. And this is in the shop right now. I might reconsider uh, not buying it. I might actually reconsider. Holy. That looks really clean. Can I uh, inspect it a little bit more? Yeah, that looks really nice. I'm actually surprised. Wow. Okay, and then we have this one, Noble Portal, and Splinter Desert. Yeah, that one's not really, not really too good. So moving on to the chest plate, the chest piece. Here it is. Um, it kind of reminds me of one of the chest plates from the other core, for this one, right here. Kind of looks similar. Um, the shoulder pads are nothing too crazy. Yeah, here they are. Yeah, I don't know. Just regular shoulder pads. I mean, I feel like it's they look so similar to other ones that it's just kind of like, now whatever. Uh, then we have the Epic Gloves. Now, yeah, okay, so there is a difference. Not a huge one, but like there is. I don't really think you're going to give a shit about what gloves you have during the game. I feel like this is just a, another... Uh, reason for them to sell items in the game and charge money for us i feel like these gloves are exactly what it is i mean there's no point in 
and changing the gloves, you know? I don't know. It just does... I don't really care about them, to be honest. And um, the knee pads right here. I don't know. Like, I don't really care about knee pads either. Like, they all just kind of look the same to me. I don't know. There's not really any big differences. Um, but yeah, you know, it doesn't look too bad. Anyways... Let's hop into a match and see what it looks like in game. All right, let's see what it looks like. Oh, there, there, there we are. Not bad, not bad. Just honestly, a different coating would be a million times better than the one that they gave us. Um, but yeah, I think also the attachments really, really cool. I just think the helmet alone without the attachment looks kind of ugly. So I would honestly recommend using a uh the attachment Reloading. your ammo reserves are depleting Easy, there we go. What a win. Okay. There's our Spartan. I really like that helmet attachment. Like, seriously, I think it looks really, really cool. Okay. Let's take a look at the helmet with the no attachment. Oh my god. I hope that wasn't mine. Okay, no, that wasn't. That wasn't. There we are. Uh, you know, I honestly don't like it. Without the attachment, it just looks kind of ugly. I won't lie. Yeah, and also you, as I said, the gloves, like, the gloves make no difference. I feel like this is just a reason to, like, make it seem like you're getting a lot of cool items. But in the end, holy, hold on, let me just hide for a second. In the end, the gloves are just, yeah, I, you don't see anything. There's no difference. Okay, guys, so that is going to be the end of the review. Just my final thoughts. I think the bundle is definitely worth it. One thing I didn't even talk about is the price. It's not 2000 It's 1200 now, which is honestly so good. And I hope they continue uh, making them 1200 uh, Halo credits instead of 2000 I think that's a lot more affordable and just definitely a lot better. Um, but I'm actually also glad that they didn't really cut any content from this bundle like i feel like this has a lot of content because a lot of people like i said before were saying that like oh they're lowering the prices but they're removing a lot of content from the bundles but i feel like for this one they didn't really remove a lot and i feel like this is definitely worth it um so yeah once again here is the epic helmet and um, i don't really like this helmet not gonna lie if you put the attachment on i think it's a lot better it looks a lot cooler the coating the coating is pretty trash in my opinion i mean it's just lime green uh like lime ash like they you could have they could have chosen anything else but they decided to do this or maybe i've done like a little bit of more blue like there's barely any blue you know so it's like i don't know i'm not really a uh, fan of it the gloves are also like nothing too crazy i don't really care about the gloves i mean they all look the same to me uh, then we have the chest piece, chest plate, actually, which looks really nice. I do like this chest plate. I actually do like it. It looks really cool. The shoulder pads, they're not bad. I'm just not a huge fan of the shoulder pads that we've had so far. Um, but yeah, I feel like these are, like, the better ones in the shoulder pad area. Um, because I think these are, you know, better than the ones that we've seen before. Uh, then we have the knee pads. And uh, these are just... Uh, nothing too crazy once again nothing out of the ordinary here uh, just regular knee pads and then we have the stance and honestly this stance is pretty cool i forgot to equip it but let me actually go to my customization spartan take a closer look yep here it is it's a pretty cool stance let's be real here i like it i mean they're all kind of similar um just kind of standing there but this one this one's not bad i like it um, but yeah, guys, anyways, 
that is going to be the end of the video. So stay tuned for my other reviews. Most likely it's going to be on the pop weapon set. So stay tuned for that. But guys, thank you all very much for watching. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.